Let's continue. Eat a lot of broccoli. I can do that for you. I love broccoli. It's one of the first veggies I ever ate and liked. That's key. Anyway. I should take Hugo up on his offer to hang out. I had a lot of fun with him at the aquarium. Which, no, I gotta remember Hugo's voice. I tipped out a message to him on dad book. Hey, still want a cheese board? Right, cheese. I forgot about the cheese, how could I forget? Hugo responds within a few minutes. Everyone's so responsive. Robert, what the hell? Oh my god. Uh, hold on. Colin is still being a humongous shithead. Ooh, he's sore. Uh, he won't stop sending the same picture of Jackie Chan in a mesh shirt to the printer, and it's a nice picture, but it's wasting all my paper. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, meant that for another teacher! <laughs> I was gonna say, what, he's being very open. Uh, but seriously, he's insufferable. There's pictures of Jackie Chan everywhere. That's amazing. I type back. Save a couple for me. My Jackie Chan scrapbook is a little light on content, and I think this would really round it out. That was a great way. How? Why am I so fucking witty? But I can't be that witty IRL. <laughs> like, Kyle, teach me your ways. Ha! Let me get back to you after class ends. I stand up from the computer and stretch. Hey. Well, guess there's only one thing to do now. That's dad nap. Of course, power nap it. I hop on the couch and turn on some antiques road warrior for background noise. I got this ornate cabinet from, oh my god, Wastelander. <laughs> anyway, I got this ornate cabinet from a yard sale for $5 in 1982. To be told that it once belonged to a confederate general is a huge surprise. This will feed my tribe for weeks. What? I really like the way the appraiser's voice echoes through the mouthpiece of his leather armor bondage gear. Wow, that's not the voice I should have given him then. But anyway, maybe this is what ASMR... <laughs> maybe this is the ASMR thing Amanda keeps telling me about. I drift off to sleep. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm jolted awake by a dad book message from Hugo. Hey, sorry about that. Colin's in the principal's office now. He says he knows Jackie Chan personally and that Jackie won't be happy to hear this. I don't think that's true, but okay. You, you just keep telling yourself that. I fumble out a reply. Oh, this is Hugo. I got- I get off of work in a little while and I continue to be very serious about the cheese boards. That's one way you could put it. Yeah, so am I. Hugo and I work out the details, and I'm set all set to meet him in a few hours. A. Amanda walks in the door just as I'm about to leave. What's up, Buttercup? Hmm. Just getting home from school. Where are you going? Oh, I have a meeting with the board. The board? Um, a cheese board is what I meant. I'm getting cheese with your teacher. Will you be able to fend for yourself until dinner time? Mm. Yeah, I'll live. But only if you can talk him into going easy on me for the final. Sorry, buddy. That ball's in your court. What's in my court, you ask? Just a variety of deli delicious cheeses, meats, and their accompanying crackers. Maybe some olives. Maybe a bit of fig jam. Ugh. Yes, yes, I get it. You're excited about the cheese. Sweetie, you'll get it one day. But now I gotta go see a man about some... Machego? Manchego? Please leave. She's like, I've had enough of your shit. Uh, I walk into a quaint French diner and Hugo waves me down to the to a booth in the corner. He looks pretty tired. Long day? I don't know. Um, every day is a long day when you teach middle schoolers. Oh. Colin started a gambling ring. <laughs> the pictures of Jackie Chan were just a cover. He's bartering in those little rubber band bracelets that are also shapes. It, I don't know what you mean by shapes. You mean color ones? Is that the one the parents think means sex stuff? I know what you're talking about. I don't know what you mean by shapes. Those ones, yeah. The reports are just the sensationalist news media capitalizing on the fears of suburban parents as usual. That's pretty much what it was in the past, too. Mm. At least I hope. Yikes. Oh. Right now I'm very ready for some fine wine and some delicious cheeses. 
A waitress stops by and takes our order for the biggest cheese plate you have for the love of God. Just please put the cheese in my mouth and recommends you some and recommends us some wine. That is quite the title of a cheese board. Uh, do you want do you two want a score card for trivia? Oh no. There's trivia. Yep, we're starting in a few minutes. Pretty much everyone here is playing. If there's a question about Sinnoh, I can answer that. We found that out through Tower Unite. Anyway. Oh. We'd love to play, right, Kyle? Uh, yeah, sure. The waitress hands us a scorecard and a few pencils before leaving. I might not be much help here. I'm not very good at being smart, I guess. Come on, I doubt it'll be too hard. <laughs> Kyle, why is Matt here? Kyle. Whoa. I turn and see Matt and Brian where their daughters or, or here with their daughters looking like they're ready for trivia. They come up to our table to greet us. That was random. Hey guys, y'all here for the old question and answers game? Oh. Yep, we come here every week. But Brian and Daisy carry the team. Carmen Sita and I are just here for the cheese. <laughs> That's legit. Provolone <laughs> Provolone 2? Lost in New York have been reigning champions for the last month. Man, Brian's great at trivia too. That raises the stakes. Great name though. Solid team name. That's Carmen Cita's claim to fame. I don't remember Carmen Cita's voice at all. It hurts me how good I am at puns. <laughs> like, like father, like daughter. Hey, yeah. You guys gonna try and give us a run for our money? Mm. We'll see what we can do. Uh, save. Provolone 2, that's clever. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, these puns, guys, I don't understand. We're just here for the cheese, too. We'll see what we can do to not hurt your feelings too bad. I will destroy you. We're just here for the cheese, too. He likes cheese, right? Listen, trivia is great, but we all know the real trivia champions are the cheeses we ate along the way. I don't know if that's how that phrase works, but I, I understand and I appreciate the sem sentiment. Oh. We'll have to think of a good team name, but I think this will be fun. He had no response. Good luck! Well, you know, hold on. Let's see if someone has a better response to that. We'll try not to hurt your feelings too bad. The cheese will taste so much better with the side of victory. He liked that. Hugo and I bump fists. <laughs> Tag team champions. Ah. We'll have to think of a good team name, but I think this will be fun. Good luck! Well, there you go. Brian, Matt, and their daughters head back to their table. Well, I guess we need a name. Um, Got any good ideas? Easy breezy beautiful. Bree. Oh my god! Havarti like it's 1999. Ah, real monsters. Craigslist Swiss connections. I don't understand that one, but okay. Let's save. I'm gonna say Havarti like it's 1999. Havarti like it's 1999? That'll do just nicely. Really? No, no response? Ah, real monsters? <laughs> really? That'll do just... So this doesn't matter! Easy breezy beautiful. You are very hard to please, aren't you? Well, they're all the same, apparently. I'm going to do the Easy Breezy Beautiful, because I like that one, actually. <laughs> Although I do like the Aureal Monsters, but I, I like this one. Anyway, that'll do just nicely. The waitress comes with our cheese board, and we revel in its glory. Already, I can see a piece of cheddar with my name on it. I pair it with some strawberry preserves and slide into dairy-induced ecstasy. There's such a fine variety of cheese and shark, shark cuttery, charcuter. Anyway, that I'm positively overwhelmed. A quick dip into the seasoned nuts, a slice of savory yet salty gouda, or perhaps a foca focaccia, fo f focaccia. Anyway, crisp, <laughs> topped with honey and goat cheese. Why are cheeses so like freaking exotic for me to pr try and pronounce? God damn it. Charcuterie. Charcuterie? Yes. You had to Google it, don't even. I heard you typing away. In 
Final Fantasy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so happy. Hugo raises his glass at me. Oh. Cheers to cheese. Hey hey. Oh, it's Quizmaster Quinn, guys. Hey hey. <laughs> Bless you. A middle-aged man in the backwards baseball cap, sunglasses, and cargo shorts jog out of the back with a frenetic energy of a DJ or a radio DJ. Everybody ready for some trivia? The restaurant cheers. Oh man, looks like everyone's really into this. That's what I would like. That's what I like to hear. For those that of you that don't know me, I'm Quizmaster Quinn. My actual name's Richard. I just like alliteration. I mean, alliteration is nice. More cheers. I see some of you brought your children here tonight. That's cool. My children won't speak to me. Bro, too deep. <laughs> Dots. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking around. No, you're not. Classic Quizmaster Quinn humor. It's actually my wife that won't speak to me. She just doesn't want kids. That is believable as well. Let's get into some questions. The first category is literature. Excellent. My feelings are... My feelings are... You know who loved literature? My dead father. I looked up to him so much. Buddy, you need to stop <laughs> bringing up your past. <laughs> or your personal life in your job. Anyway, that's... More jokes. Classic Quizmaster quips. <laughs> Just trying to keep it light here, folks. Just like I thought my wife was the life of my life. <laughs> God damn it, buddy. Oh, no. Hugo, you... Got this liter literature stuff, right? Hey. Does Franz Kafka have an irrational fear of one day waking up as a large, grotesque, insect-like creature? Yes? This is the continent- This is the continent that encompasses the realms of Gondor, Rohan, Mordor, and Lethlo- Lethlo- Lothlorien? Freak of Star Wars would kill me right now. Anyway. <laughs> Other notable sites include Isengard, the Mirkwood, and Rivendell. Obviously, this is Lord of the Rings. Like, I mean, what is the elvish name for this continent? That's not gonna happen. Endor? Or Hoth? Those are the two I'm remembering. Why am I answering? I thought Hugo's got this. What the fuck? Why is this all on me now? Tully! I swear to God! So, I'll, I'll try Endor then, since oh. chat says that. Oh, River just Googled it and was like, huh. All right. I think I saved already. I'm going to save again. Endor. Yep, that was it. Who was the writer the that... Spelling, <laughs> yeah, they copied each other. Somebody copied someone else. Great quiz question. Yeah, seriously. Who was the writer that created Tarzan and John Carter of Mars? Shit. I know this one, too. Of course you know this one, too, well, River. I know the other one. Well, you didn't, but you were a process of eliminating. Uh, William A. Alcott, Edgar Rice Burroughs, Nathaniel Hawthorne, or E.E. E. Doc Smith? I don't fucking know! I don't read! I'm dyslexic! Who do you think it would be? Burroughs. Yes. I was right! Alright, let's do this. Correct! You should have expected all of his questions would be book-related. I know. Well, no, he said literature. I'm just really bad at literature. Anyway. Edmund Dantes is better known as this man. <laughs> All right. Count of Monte Cristo. Correct. The quiz master walks around the room. I think he's doing crowd work. He stops by mine and Hugo's table. Whoa, nice cheese plate you got there. The, thank you? Thank you, River. How's the cheese tasting tonight, big guy? Um, good. Haha, <laughs> great. Cheese used to be my favorite food, but I developed a lactose intolerance later in life. I'm sorry to hear that. I also developed clinical depression. Oh. <laughs> but, people don't just, but people don't tell you to just get over your lactose intolerance, right? Nobody's like, have you tried exercising to get rid of your debilitating dairy, dairy allergy? Or you just need to choose to not let your throat close up when you, die, when you eat brie? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Anything? Does that scan? I'm trying to workshop my routine here. It's not a good one. It's too real. Literally too real. Buddy, no. Quizmaster Quinn wanders off to another table. Who wants to start the next round? More cheers from the audience. 
The next round is cinema. Oh man, I love movies. Sometimes I'll treat, retreat into them for days on end because obsessing over a fictional universe is easier than engaging with my real emotions and problems. Frodo Baggins, am I right? <laughs> oh my god, is he okay? Oh no. I think it's just his character. I hope it's not. That's just him. Poor buddy. How's your cinema? Hey. Spotty. I don't know a lot about movies, but if there's any questions about bad horror movies, I can be of service. We can watch bad horror movies together. That's an interesting one. Hmm. It's a bit of a guilty pleasure. A good one. In Return of the Jedi. Oh no. What does Luke ask Leia if she remembers? It's either the promise, their promise, or their mother. Their mother. Correct. Oh shit. What entertainer? I thought I double clicked, but I mean I did, but it, I thought it triggered. It didn't. So, let's petition the devs to do, for a Quinn route. Let's not. Oh no. <laughs> Poor Quinn. All right. What entertainer makes a fourth wall breaking appearance in the film Gremlins Two? I I don't think I ever saw Gremlins Two. I only saw Gremlins One. Probably Charlie Sheen. Let's be real. I'm gonna guess Charlie Sheen. I have no idea. It's Hulk Hogan? Okay. Correct. It is. Which of these 80s horror movies dies not feature... Which one of these 80s horror movies dies not feature an Indian burial ground as part of its setting? I don't understand how this sentence is phrased right here, but okay. As not part of its setting? Yes. I'm really surprised they don't have Amityville Horror on here as a, like, throw-you-off answer. I'm actually very surprised by that because it was also on Indian burial grounds. Everyone's saying it's The Shining, so it must be The Shining. Okay. No. No, it wasn't. Is it Pet Cemetery? It might be. Cemetery is an Indian burial ground. Pet Cemetery is an Indian burial ground, so it's fucking Poltergeist, guys. All right. Correct. Yeah, it's the Poltergeist. Thank you, River. Oh my God. <laughs> Quizmaster Quinn. I only got to watch. Oh my God. Uh. Seems like we're doing pretty well, but we're neck and neck with Brian and Matt's team. Those guys are pros. I look over to their table and give them a friendly but competitive nod. I lock eyes with Brian. He gets a much sterner nod. Gives a much sterner nod. No, it says gets. He, he, I give him what? Got you. And the next category is... No. I won't know anything. Like, I legit just won't. Wrestling. Okay, we're totally boned. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks. Hugo grabs my ah. arm. Wait, I got this. Why the fuck does Hugo got this? Huh? Man, you know who I would want to wrestle with? Literally anyone. I crave human interaction. Please put me in a chokehold. <laughs> That's inappropriate, buddy. You poor thing. Please, it has been so long since I've been held. <laughs> I can only pr process my emotions by making jokes out of them. I... Yeah. Let's start the quiz. <laughs> Remember that this is the lightning round. The first people to answer get the points. I look over to Hugo. He's focused. He's in it to win it. Question one. This is the original name of Stone Cold Steve Austin in his debut for the WWE. Oh. Hugo's hand shoots up. Thank you, Hugo, because I won't know. Yes, the enthusiastic one over there. Steve Austin debuted in, as the ringmaster. Yes. That is correct. Points to easy, breezy, beautiful. Uh. Next question. This city was the location of the first ever WrestleMania. Oh. Hugo's hand shoots up again. Yes, the one who looks like he has known the answer for his entire oh. life. The first WrestleMania was held in New York. New York at Madison Square Garden in 1985. Why the fuck did... You know it by date, buddy. Correct. Another correct answer for Easy Breezy Beautiful. Hugo's destroying these questions. He's so passionate about this. I've never seen him act like this before. It's honestly kind of hot. <laughs> Ooh, a tough one. This title match won. This title match went down in history as the shortest match in WrestleMania to date. Hugo jumps up. More excited than I've ever seen him. I'm just imagining him being like, me, me. <laughs> ah. Chavo versus Kane. 
Oh, sorry, Bucko, but that is incorrect. The answer is actually Daniel Bryan versus Sheamus the Wrestle in, at WrestleMania 28. <sighs> no, he knew that. Aw, he looks so sad, guys. No, that's absolutely wrong. The real record is Chavo Guerrero versus Kane, WrestleMania 24, March 30th, 2008. Kane took down Chavo with one choke slam and pinned him for the three count. I will not stand for this travesty. I'm so sad. Hey man, I'm just reading from the card here. I don't actually write these. Well, you're still wrong. What are you, my ex-wife? The crowd erupts in laughter. Hugo blushes and retreats back into his chair. But he knew that. He he recited, s get Google out and show Quizmaster Quinn. Be like, bitches, look at this phone. This is fact, anyway. Ah. Fine. Wow, Hugo seems really fired up about that. Where did he get the, his encyclopedia knowledge of wrestling? How do you know so much about wrestling? I know. Oh, I, you know, just pick stuff up. That sounds suspect. But I, it seems like he doesn't want to talk about it. I turn my attention back to the quiz master. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. Looks like we're down to the final category, and it's a close one between Provolone 2 Lost in New York. Matt and Brian and Matt high five. And easy breezy beautiful. Hugo and I high five. We look over to Brian and Matt, Carmen Sita and Daisy, all playfully give us thumbs down and stick their tongues out. I eat a big chunk of cheddar without breaking eye contact to show them just how serious I am. The final category is cool animals. Animals, huh? I never could take care of another living thing. Hell. I can barely take care of myself. Ha, uh, I'm falling apart. <laughs> anyway, here's the questions. The Canary Islands were named after what kind of animal? A bird? Canary? Birds? They're full. I know! I'm saving! <laughs> Alright, dogs. That's right. It is right. What is the last animal that appears in the dictionary? What? Doesn't that depend on the dictionary? I don't. I got zebra. I got zebu. I got zizva. And zonkey. Yeah, I would consider that a bug. It's an ant. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Correct. I guess it's that. What mammal? Mammal. <laughs> what mammal has the thickest concentration of fur in nature? Uh, Canadian beaver, duck-billed platypus, polar bear, or otter. I'm going to guess otter or beaver, but I don't know which one. It's otter, I think. Okay. I'm going to do otter. Correctamundo. It is otter. Okay. All right. I'm just going to come around and collect your scorecards, and we'll see who came out on top. Remember, the winning team gets a $25 gift card to Phil's Auto Care. If you need a car part, Phil's will fulfill all your needs. Nah. Everyone oohs and ahs. God, I want that gift card. <laughs> the quiz master goes to the back to tally up the score. I pick at what's left of our cheese plate. There's a bit of brie here that tastes absolutely divine on a cracker with a little bit of honey and dried apricot. Hey! So, what are your plans after our big win? Hmm, I'll probably retire, take Amanda somewhere tropical, drink something out of a coconut. Always wanted to do that. What about you? Probably take my willings to Colin's gambling ring. <laughs> Bet it all in black. Walk out of there with more rubber bands in the shape of animals than I know what to do with. Oh, right. Isn't it shape of animals something that, like, was short-lived a few years back? Anyway. Bold. But I like your style. Hey. You want the last piece of ha Havarti? Havarti? Nah, that's all you. You definitely earned it. After a couple of minutes, the quiz master jogs back into the room. Everybody immediately quiets down. Waiting for... Waiting with baited... Blech waiting with bated breath for the results. Who will win the coveted gift card? I really hope it's us. Hey everybody, we had a great night. Lots of goofs, lots of laughs, a little bit of light crying in the back, but that's neither here nor there. By a landslide, the winner of tonight's contest is Easy Breezy Beautiful Eggplants! Come on down and get your gift card for Phil's Auto Care, where Phil nominal services. <laughs> God, I can't do this anymore. Please just take the gift card. 
I motion for Hugo to go get the gift card, and he slyly, shyly slinks out of the booth to grab it. He pauses for a moment, gives the quiz master a hug with a few pats on the back. Oh, the quiz master sobs just a little. Buddy, no. Hugo makes a victory lap back to our table and gives me a high five. Easy Breezy Beautiful is unstoppable. Easy Breezy Beautiful is great. May Easy Breezy Beautiful reign for a thousand years. Hey, great work, guys. You guys did awesome. We'll be, see we'll be seeing Easy Breezy Beautiful again next week. I look over at Hugo, who smiles. Maybe so. We make a pretty good team. Huh, Hugo? Hey. Hugo blushes. Aww... Hugo and I walk back to our cul-de-sac, basking in the glow of our win and nursing our cheese-filled bellies. Man, we crushed it in there. Hey. Finally, enduring the screams of young children for years and, and on end has paid off. I will take my half of this gift card and use it to purchase many, many air fresheners for my car, which Ernest refuses to stop vaping in. I think I'll use my half to buy at least two tire pressure gauges in place in... <laughs> to place in different parts of my garage. You never know when you're going to need one, and I prefer to have them within arm's reach. Fine plan. Shame about that one wrestling question, though. Oh. I'm not kidding. I plan to write a strongly worded letter to whoever employed that man. Come on, there's got to be a story there. Oh. What do you mean? You didn't even stop to think. You pulled that wrestling knowledge out of, like you were there in the ring yourself. Oh, it's just stuff I know. Uh... Alright, I'll push it and see what it says. Ask again. Hugo, I figured you'd better be lying after dealing with every kid in school. I figured you'd be better at lying after dealing with every kid in school for as long as you have. I, uh... It's embarrassing. That's okay. You know what's actually embarrassing? Not being able to explain basic algebra to your daughter. You know what's definitely not embarrassing? Knowing stuff about wrestling. Hugo sighs. Um. Oh, he liked that we pushed it. Or showed interest, I guess. Really, that's what we did more than anything else. All right, all right. If you want to know, just follow me. Where are we going? Just follow me. Hugo leads me to his house. Ooh. The edge of the cul-de-sac. We step inside, and his house is exactly what I expect it to be. Neat and filled to the top to bottom with books and art. Ah. Of course. I know it is. Uh, welcome to my house. So, uh, Sorry it's so messy. His house is actually spotless. I follow him down a hallway where... What are we doing? Hugo opens the door and ushers me inside. It's pitch black. He closes the door behind us. Oh my god. He go flips the switch and I finally understand. Curio cabinets packed with in-box wrestling action figures line the walls, along with posters, cardboard cutouts, and every piece of wrestling memorabilia imaginable. A giant widescreen TV sits on a decked out media stand. I'm speechless. I look over at Hugo, who's hovering by the door, doing everything to avoid eye contact. Yeah. It's, uh, this is really embarrassing. That's really adorable. I like someone who shows some passion. That's fantastic. A lot of people have seen this, huh? It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Are you kidding? Look at all this stuff. This must have taken you forever to collect. Yeah, seriously. Can I touch this? <laughs> Go ahead. I pick up one of his replica championship belts and toss it over my shoulder. Do you smell what I'm cooking? Oh. I think the line is, it's meatballs. <laughs> I like how he's like got the sass face going on. Sorry, I don't watch a lot of wrestling. I just think it's so cool how passionate you are about this. Yes, that. Passion is attractive. That's fantastic. Ah. Oh, uh, yeah, I, um, I really, really like wrestling. He's blushing so hard right now. Duh. Oh, Ernest. Hugo brought... Hugo, you brought the wrong kind of pizza rolls again. Computer? Wrong kind of pizza rolls again. Looks like Ernest just got home. He's yelling in from the hallway. I can see Hugo immediately deflate. Aww. Oh. 
I told you, those pizza rolls have less sodium. I just want you to be healthy, son. Ernest comes into Hugo's wrestling room and looks around with disgust. He notices me and scoffs. I thought every nobody was allowed in your precious wrestling room. I never said that. I just said you're not allowed to take the action figures out of their boxes and pose them so they're having sex with each other. Ernest gets flustered. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm gonna go throw eggs at stuff. Have fun with your stupid wrestling crap. Aww. I'm so sorry, Hugo. Buddy. Ernest leaves, then a moment later pops his head back in the room. And your stupid friend. Your stupid friend, too. <laughs> Ernest storms back out of the room. I hear a door slam. Hugo wearily runs his hand through his hair. My dad would never have allowed a door slam. Found that out the hard way. Hmm. Sorry about that. Him. Sorry about him. Never mind. And sorry that I have to keep apologizing about him. He's just going through a phase, I guess. Oh. I try so hard to impress him, but it's obvious that no matter what I do, he hates me. Ernest has a thing about authority figures, and you don't get much more authoritative than a teacher dad. Mm. Yep, that's probably why he's against authoritarian figures. Um, authority figures. My ex, my ex, he gets to be the fun weekend dad, and I'm just Hugo, who makes Ernest eat his vegetables and turn his homework in on time. That makes sense. Hey, you love him, and you're looking out for his best interest. Take it from one dad to another. Someday he'll appreciate you. He'll come to appreciate you. Maybe not someday soon, but someday. I hope so. Mm. Thanks for letting me vent. Hugo glances at his oh. watch. Suppose it's getting kind of late. Let's do trivia again sometime soon. I would absolutely love to. I start to leave. And hey, thanks for showing me your wrestling stuff. Maybe you can tell me some more about it next time. Hugo smiles. Ah. That would be amazing. I'll catch you around. They're so natural together, though. I love it. All right. So, I'm going to save anyway. But it only takes a few... It only takes me a minute to walk back home. Amanda's sitting on the couch reading a book about female photographers. Wow, I thought you didn't like reading. I don't. This book is full... <laughs> is all pictures. Oh. And even then, my patience is being tried. Oh. Did you get to eat... Did you get... To eat all the cheese your little heart desired? I am happy my... I am a happy little cheese monster. But I made sure to leave room for dinner. Who wants breakfast for dinner? All right. Hash browns! Okay. <laughs> Toast dipped in egg! Alright. Blueberry pancakes! Well, only if you'll keep me making them. Wait, what? Only if you'll help me make them. I could not read that sentence for a moment. You know I'm the world's best blueberry sprinkler, and also totally amazing at heating up the maple syrup in the microwave. Now tell me all about that cheese board. Amanda and I spend the evening cooking on a an elaborate breakfast with everything we can find inside the fridge. I tell her all about the trivia, but leave out the parts about Hugo being into wrestling. I figure she would probably find some nefarious way to use that information for a better grade. Yes. Smart move, me dad. Smart move. That could have been ter terrible. Do you like waffles? Yeah, we like waffles. Anyway, um, friendship, a angry about weather. Hemingway, barely there. I'm JK rolling with delight. I'm JK rolling with delight. Did that just come out of Hugo's mouth? D d Youth, very little. Trivia, very little. Cheese, very little. I'm surprised, what the hell? But I still got an S, Ay, I did it. Amanda has no flaws. She's great. It's true. I love Amanda. I got Asiago Getter. Two out of three. 